South Florida first responder earning a hero's honor today. That paramedic being praised for going above and beyond on one call in particular. Lieutenant Hector Jimenez credited with saving a victim's life, and today he is being honored for the doing just that. And Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay, he's live in Pompano Beach with a closer look. Hi, Terrell. Good afternoon, Janice and Eric. That lieutenant works out of Station 52 here in Pompano Beach. That emergency happened just a few blocks away from here. And what actually happened on that day in 2015 has forever changed the lives of both of the men involved, the victim and the rescuer. Pomp and circumstance filled the air at this award ceremony in Pompano Beach. Civilians and firefighters all honored for heroic acts and among the most heartfelt, the story of Lieutenant Hector Jimenez. This year's recipient of Paramedic of the Year is Lieutenant Hector Jimenez. It was Christmas Day nearly one year ago. The lieutenant was on the job, called to a Pompano Beach apartment complex where he found a man lying alone and motionless on the pavement. Through keen insight, he quickly determined the victim had fallen at least four stories. And he made some critical, quick thinking moves to render the appropriate aid and ultimately save the victim's life. The trauma doctor told him if it had not been for the actions of Rescue 5-2, he would have died due to massive internal bleeding. Today, Jay Robeson is alive, thanks to that paramedic, and in a surprise, he personally thanked the man who gave him a second shot at life. 100% was unexpected. I did not and try to hold back the tears from uh, him even being here and seeing him. It, it, it made this even more appreciable, this award. I'm in debt to him for that, so. Yeah, yeah. It's still tough for you. No, absolutely, you know, it's, uh, being alive is, it's a great thing when you almost weren't. Jay, who spent five weeks in a coma and six months unable to walk, is still on the long road to recovery, but he has every reason to smile after coming face to face with his hero. It's so humbling, you know, that like it, my experience is helping someone else, not just me and my family and my support system, but benefiting others as well. I just feel really glad that he's, he's alive and everything's well with him. Yeah, so certainly a lot of smiles in that ceremony, but a few tears as well. But not only did that lieutenant go above and beyond uh, while on the course of his job, but also in the care and providing for that victim. He also visited that victim in the hospital and kept in close contact with his family, uh, you know, just basically sharing that road to recovery along the way. Reporting live from Pompano Beach this afternoon, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local Tenders.